everything that's happening with me, for real, like, some shit is fucked up. What you gonna do about it? When people make decisions in their head and in their life, that shit just and decide to act on that shit in the physical, on whatever level that they choose to, each and every time, that shit is gonna affect you how it affects you, right? No matter what you do. I'm pretty sure I got blocked by a whole lot of shit because that bitch been on a mission and she was nowhere near anywhere in my world realm of existence, time and attention. Like she ain't had not a nothing to me, not a nothing. Even when she thought she had it, I just wanted her to fucking stop talking to me. Like that was the extent of my fucking thought of her or it, I didn't even think about her. And, like, you put so much work and effort into me that you kept tracking my ass down so you could attack me. Because I beat you up when I was 14. That's the only thing that I can think of. Like, fuck all that other shit she said to me about hating me and being glad and being glad that her mama beat my ass and beat me. Like, that shit don't even matter to me. I don't care about her jumping up in my face when I had just been through some shit. You know, even back then back then telling me like you trying to be just like your mama you a bully just like your fucking mama and what i do to bullies bitch i put them down i thought you knew that oh you thought your mama was so big and strong because she fucked you up because she broke your ass down so much because you don't know what you would have done if you was in my shoes and here i was just still fighting and shit yeah i'm still fighting hot what the fuck else i'm gonna do what the fuck you thought i, I went but they and they put me with you because they know I was gonna keep fighting, fucking fighting. I didn't think you was gonna be there to save me. Like I didn't think about your ass at all, and I guess that bothered you because I was in your house and I wasn't grateful enough. I wasn't appreciative enough. I ain't asked what you was sacrificing. Nobody asked to talk to you. I didn't give a fuck. And why is you still in my energy that I'm fucking channeling a fucking message like? Or that I'm still channeling you? Is you fucking watching me from somewhere? Neighbors telling me that your ass parking around watching me on while I'm fucking on the ground and on the grass and by the trees and shit so I can't see you but you can see me you don't know nobody around you told you that shit was fucking creepy that shit was a fucking problem maybe your ass needed some fucking help or maybe you just needed to get over that shit you got you got beat up by a 14 year old that's what you get for being a bully oh well you judged the shit wrong okay like you miscalculated that shit. What the fuck? You thought because your mama was as big as she fucking was, and she was like such a bully, and she had did all this shit in front of the neighborhood, you know, beat me up and almost killed me, and ain't nobody fucking do nothing about it. Like, you thought since she was the shit, that she was the fucking sheriff, that she was the one. That bitch want nothing. Because she dead. Here she is dead, and I just feel like she ain't that miserable enough. But And she did shot, and she died. With me still all up in her fucking system. And she passed that shit on to you. You decide to take up the torch, huh? Like, that bitch so fucking insignificant in my life. I don't even really say her name. But y'all think I'm talking about her all the time. No, not for real. And even if I was, that's my fucking business. That bitch ain't nothing. Kind of just how them Christians feel. Huh? Like, if you don't like God, just leave him alone. Just leave us alone, Nikki. Ain't nobody bothering you. Y'all did a whole bunch of shit, and y'all must still be, because I don't give a fuck about you. So the fact that I've been fucking pulled into this energy now that I am fucking shook everything up, involved some motherfuckers who probably meant to be involved, who didn't need to be involved, bringing up all kind of fucking shit. Now y'all done been doing, somebody been doing so much shit, motherfuckers that I ain't cared about or people I ain't know to look out for or whatever the fuck is happening around me. I'm in my own motherfucking world just existing and living life and trying to get through all these shits like one fucking moment at a time because the kid fucking hits keep coming. I can't got time to stop and look around or whatever, even when niggas think I do. Like, cause this shit ain't safe. It ain't never really been safe, man been safe man it, it, it like it's as safe as i make it right but i'm so used to being on automatic that i realized that like i don't trust none of these niggas with my life but my life but myself no matter who they are no matter how much i care about them like when shit went down i ain't really trust none of them to do nothing for me nobody and as far as I can tell, it don't look like nobody did. And I'm like, damn, 
is that a problem or is that a problem like i'm over here gotta question my fucking self now and now whatever the fuck happened i don't know if somebody read my book for the first time and got mad or i don't know if somebody just like been around long been around long enough and just started questioning shit i don't know if i crossed somebody path and then they like hey Hey, I've been hearing some shit about her because I go to the strip club or because I go here and like these bitches either mad at her or they adore her or whatever they mad she said she fucking with their brother or she made this nigga mad or this nigga said he felt like all that shit she got going on all that noise about her back there she just walked into my motherfucking office like hey what's up I'm here for school like do you know who I am <laughs> she's like yeah I know who you are that's why I'm here who is you and then went along to show me just how special she thought I was not or that I was like that shit was tricky damn Nikki am I special that your ass found your way over here to the mayor the mayor elects office like I'm running for mayor and like I've been seeing you at my events and you in school and you made your way over to do your internship at my office Nikki went and created a whole position. A whole position. Like, when you got to think of that shit on so many levels. Nikki went into them white people's school because she graduated from Indiana Wesleyan. She don't never rep them. She don't never say nothing. Like, and she don't really give a fuck about that degree. You just got to think about shit on so many levels. Like, hey, man, who the fuck are you? Like, what are you thinking about? Nikki like a real live chess board, chess piece. And we only got some of the pieces, y'all. Like, all the shit in that fucking girl's head. And when you step back and see how, like, pieces of the puzzle. Because her fucking, she a puzzle. I thought it was a chess board. I'm like, is she a chess board? Is she a puzzle? Like, what the fuck? What is she doing? What is happening around her that, like, she is fucking shaking up whole environments and shit? Like, <laughs> She don't know her ass being watched all the time. And then she walked in my office and showed me that she ain't know her ass was being watched at all. She ain't know nobody had their eyes on her. She did not know that all them people back there was talking about her because she wasn't talking about nobody. We put her on the church committee thing, like, to look at the pastors and say something. Nikki ain't recognized none of them niggas. And if she did, she ain't say nothing. That was not special to her. We were trying to see if she recognized some names, like, because Nikki, like, a woman in the Christian church like either you the second coming of Jesus or you is like the devil himself like and you walk, and you walk in my office in the middle of election season and I'm like wait is this a fucking test is these niggas lying to me like how can they be talking about they my allies they want to ally with me and then like they fucking sent me Nikki who sent Nikki my way is they for the church or stay against the church like because if you in the church, nigga, I don't even go to church. To church. I ain't no Christian. I'm a Muslim. I think all this shit is different. Like, this shit is different. Oh, my goodness. They told me I had to get the church on my side <laughs> to win in Cleveland because I had to have a black church. I'm like, this shit sound like some Southern Baptist shit. Like, then Nikki went ahead and reconfirmed my ass that it was some fucking Southern Baptist shit. That shit took me for a ride. Oh, my goodness. Then I had to look all like she grew up in that shit. Let me follow this journey. Like, how long was you in that shit to get to here? Because I done came across some, <laughs> so many of them fucking women still in that shit. And I, like, I got to go look at our women and make some apologies and ask some questions and get deep because I got a fucking daughter and I'm seeing this shit out here and I'm looking I'm looking at the same shit Nikki looking at just like I'm I've got the numbers like Nikki a tribe like Nikki a tribe for the numbers I used to think like is she illiterate she's slow she don't know math but no like she calculates shit differently I've been trying to figure out like how she do the math and the science like she ain't tapping into none of the equations none of the fucking periodic table like i know when she went abroad she was trying to figure out the money and shit and the convergence like i'm like damn do her her mind work like a computer like 
her mind going so fucking fast in so many directions. There's so many fucking people in her energy that's pulling her. She got so many fights happening. And she not even not even physically present for none of them. None of them at all. That girl name is mentioned in rooms that like I'm like, she ain't you would never invite her up here with y'all to this dinner, to this event, but yet she the topic of y'all fucking conversation. Like y'all spying on her, y'all got cameras in her shit, y'all hacking into like what is she doing that she got this much of y'all fucking attention? And I promise you, I worked with Nikki for months. She ain't mentioned nobody. Her ass didn't do nothing. Nigga, I was running for mayor. I'm making sure everybody on my team get in check. Like, and then this girl that live in Cleveland, go to school in Indiana Westland, getting her social work degree. And then she that went in that school, talk, talked up a bunch of shit and shook up some shit because I knew that had to be something. I was like, Nikki in a white, in a white Christian school. Nikki, politics, education, drugs. You think white school, you definitely think drugs. I'm like, oh, Nikki bought the fuck. What the fuck was that girl think? Like, what was her papers? What was the conversations in this class? Like... Because Nikki came from St. Clair, she tell y'all that. Like, I'm a fucking black woman. And she, like, you could look at Nikki and tell, who, if you could look at Nikki and tell who her fucking heroes are. And if you don't, she going to tell you. Picture she in that damn mirror was so funny. Me, 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 I think I'm my hero. Like, that was like, damn, that girl was like, Hey, we be talking about who our heroes are, who we pay homage to. And she was like, nobody. It was God for a minute. I was trying to figure it out. And, you know, I did a real good job. And then that shit led back to me. And I'm like, I didn't even think of that. Like, when she say I'm God, like, when that shit come from Nikki, it's just different. I know it is because I've been following her. And she's still way more than I can even imagine. Because I had my mama. I had good memories. Like, way before I knew that they were supposed to be good memories. Like, I don't got to sort through them. I don't have to dig deep. Like, I mean, losing my mama, that do change in your memories. Like, and if you know that, but even she know that, like losing her brother and she be talking about her memories, I be wanting to cry because I'm like, baby girl, you said that you was not happy. You just grateful. And I'm like, damn, it's, that's so fucking deep. Like, like I, I guess I feel joy like she is so logical I ain't never seen no woman as logical as Nikki and still part no I ain't never like I done seen some women and I know women can be logical but like I'm like what part of the brain do that girl use because she like walking through more than two worlds she walking through so many journeys like i'm like she she tearing up that flag without even tearing up the flag like without doing nothing but being herself nikki is a heterosexual woman proud black woman she will tell you like i love men and if y'all was questioning she didn't told y'all the whole story and just to let y'all know like even then she ain't like that shit. she knew that she liked men forever like and she tell you what type of man she looking for and when you look at the type of man, like, now you got to look at the type of man she done dated and what they doing and what they had done or what they doing now since they met her and who that can, who that could possibly be, that, what that could possibly mean about them, who they are as a man, as a person, right? So you go through all this shit and then you see what's going on in their life and then you look at Nikki and she's still like, nigga, I just got beat up by a bitch that, like, y'all let all that shit come back to me. Or some shit back there kept y'all so tied up that, like, y'all couldn't protect me. Like, somebody, some broad, some one of them fucking bitches from my family or something. Like, somebody, and it had to be a bunch of them back there somewhere, got so mad at me by something I did to y'all, did to y'all that they wanted to use y'all to hurt me. Because y'all loves me a little too much or something, or... Y'all y'all want to protect me, and they feel like you hadn't protected them, and, like, all this other shit, like, and then for you, whatever it was that, like, once they decided that, once they saw that I was interested in you, they decided that you was worth having, and you went after them, or they came after you, and you, and you fell for them, like, 
whatever the fuck it was because I ain't seen none of that shit and when I seen it I seen it and I was like oh okay and I sat on it and I pondered that shit and I like I don't know I figured that shit out somehow whatever I figured out I can't even explain it like she's so fucking good at destroying the game before it even start she don't even know how she did it she ain't even aware that it was a thing she ain't even know that like these niggas was players on the game board in her world <laughs> she is fucking untouchable but she don't even think about it like that and then when you gotta you gotta study her because you like she confident as fuck but like is she really like maybe she just like because all this stuff she sent she broken that's what it is you gotta put a name to it and it make you feel better if you say she broken Nikki probably like, I probably am, but what the fuck does that mean? Hell yeah, I'm broken. I'm trying to fix myself together for a long time. Now you don't see this shit, but like, what that gotta mean? What that gotta do to it? Is it supposed to be mean? Is it supposed to be, you supposed to be sad about like, I don't know why we using that word. I just don't really like how, I don't like the image in it. Broken look, can look so many different ways. And I guess I have been broken at many point in time. I was broken when I fucking <laughs> lost my daughter. I was broken when I lost my brother. But I had to fucking transmute that shit quick. I couldn't fucking sit in none of that shit and do what with it? Do what with it? Cry? Man, I was in that fucking apartment by myself. I mean, I had car and glory in the apartment, but I wasn't even going to go to them. For what? What they was going to do? Because I was crying. They couldn't fix it. Couldn't nobody fix the shit. And I don't even feel like nobody was trying to. And I ain't expecting to. I ain't even know they were supposed to feel half of me. If they did. Like, I don't think nobody ever did. Because ain't nobody ever do nothing. Like, make shit like, make shit different. And I have zero expectation for anybody to do nothing. Anybody to give me anything. So it didn't bother me when they ain't give me nothing. Whether they was trying to do it on purpose. Like, you thought you was giving me something and you was taking it away, nigga. <laughs> like... You thought she was giving me your attention, and then I did or said something that hurt your feelings, so you just got started giving me a little less attention <clears throat> to tell me, to show me that you was mad at me, or that, like, I hurt your feelings, or, man, I don't have time for that shit. You better open fuck your fucking mouth. I don't know. And how am I supposed to know I hurt your feelings if you told me, and do I even, know, like, care if I hurt your feelings? What I hurt your feelings for? Them your fucking feelings. what I do? Now I don't even know, like, how I'm supposed to feel about this shit, because, like, those your feelings. You're not about to make me responsible for your feelings. I tried to check all the boxes and make sure you was good. I came in. I told you the truth. I told you I was feeling. I told you what I want. I told you what I needed. And then I repeated the whole cycle a whole bunch of other times. Just, you know, on the strength of it being you. I sat back and I was like, let me look at his heart. Let me look at his spirit. Let me look at his mind. Let me look at his soul. Let me feel the energy. Let me think about what could possibly be going on in his life at this point in time what he could possibly be doing, I ain't around, and actually how he could actually feel about it, like, I ain't around, so we got the freedom to do whatever we want, because that's what we gonna do then, because he told me that, like, clearly, you know, and I knew that shit was deep, but he said, like, no, nah, you got your life, I got my life, and we come together, I was like, okay, all right, I can get with that, but then it was like, what I do in the time when when he don't want, when he ready to come together, or even when he don't want to come together, like, it's his business. But whatever he do ain't none of my business, whether he doing something or not. Like, he don't be trying to tell me, and I don't be fucking asking. Because I don't care. You ain't with me. It ain't none of my business. It ain't like, what you need me to care about all that other shit for? I can feel that shit all in your energy, whether I say it or not, because you passing that shit on to me. And, I, and it's showing up in my environment or in my system, and I don't even know why. I don't know how I fucking had it just to popped up in my head, a fucking image of you, a woman and a baby. It was, like, in the shadow, but I know your energy, that shit. I was like, damn. And then I said that shit, like, I feel like you done got married and had a baby. And then I asked your ass something about it, because you ain't say nothing. You ain't say nothing. And I'm like, okay. Got to run down me and Marcus's um, relationship. And all the years that we've been doing this online, we're all, he's been my 
keep him my love. He done had my heart or even before he had my heart. Like I had to run down everything that I knew about him, all his information. And I was like, hmm, whatever he just said, that ain't make sense to me. This ain't sit right with me. Uh-uh, I need some more. I need to ask another question. And I might have asked him something else, and he might have said something else that went through the same filters, and that shit still didn't feel right. So I was just like, hey, are you married with a kid or not? What's going on? Because you ain't saying yes or no. And I can't remember. I think he told me no. But I can't even remember. But I knew that that was something we was going to talk about. Like, I didn't like the, I didn't like the energy behind that. That wasn't, like... You ain't telling me a complete story somewhere. Now I'm reviewing all the shit that we done been through, all the things that's been said, and, like, the promises and just life. Like, I'm just reviewing life, and I'm just like, where the fuck did this man take another direction, like, step in another direction? Like, what the fuck happened to us? Because I remember when we was on this, <laughs> when we was on this journey, and, like, for one of the first times, like in a long time I felt like protected sort of like I felt like whatever it was me and him always told the truth to each other no matter what and I entrusted that like he was one to take care of me that he gave a fuck about my feelings it was gonna do whatever it took for him to protect my heart because like he he I was fucking Nikki that was it like he told me before we first met he was gonna be wealthy how because just from I seen that just from what he was doing like I knew he was the type I when he he knocked at the door I opened it like clearly he was he was checking me out already and he already knew what type of man he was gonna be what he was gonna do he was still trying to figure out how he was gonna get there but he knew he was gonna get there and he knew that shit was gonna take a long time and it was gonna be some shit and niggas gonna was gonna be coming against stuff because that's what these niggas do that's what these bitches do like they can't stand to see somebody being different. They can't stand to see somebody standing on their own. They can't stand to see some shit. Like, and they're going to try to knock your ass down every time. Every fucking time, whether you a man or a woman, but so fucked up that the women be getting it even worse. You can't even see. Like, women see so much. They so fucking open at any given moment that, like, they so sensitive and gentle. Like, they're supposed to be so nurtured and this life is supposed to be soft for them and we be making life so fucking hard for them man so fucking hard like our mamas we make our mamas lives hard just by being born just by existing we make her life harder no matter how you look at it, no matter how gentle you name it, like, her life gets harder the moment that she meets you and let her inside of her and, like, in, in the moment that she meet a man at any point in time, her life get harder depending on what type of man it is. And even if it's a great man, it might be a difference that hard, you know, he going to introduce her to his world very slowly gently just like he's supposed to he gonna cater to them and some of them they introduce you to their world way before they should have way before they should have or i guess sometimes you can look at it like it's just in time because on the other side maybe there was a lesson that you needed to get out of that something that you needed in you to make sure that you got that shit out the way right now while you was a teenager that you let this man come up like come up into your life into your existence for whatever reason this was the safest time to make sure that like whatever that was that you learned from it and you identify the energy the characteristics what it looks like and whatever and then you never went back for it because like your parents were st still only if we've seen in the movies and things like that well still only have a whatever effect on you depending on what type of society you in but all mothers and all tribes have hurt a little bit for when their child has gone against something that they asked them not to like that decided to go off and try to find their own knowledge get their own wisdom like that hurt 
when you know that you you are truly providing a space for your baby to thrive and express themselves and they expressing themselves in ways that like you don't understand or necessarily agree with it's so like they putting your ass through the ringer for everything that you they're my home put them through when they was a kid you are experiencing birth through like life through different generations at once and Nikki fucking felt that shit from me all the way in Africa I'm like wait has she even left for Africa when she said that shit to me I felt her when she typed the words it's like as she was typing that shit was playing like a fucking story in my head I was just like did she just project a whole fucking movie about me and my family in my head like how the fuck did she do that in my sleep how am I supposed to feel about that because like even the words that she sent me are so fucking profound like who can even write like that girl where did you learn to write like that and you put so much energy behind that shit that I can feel every that the pictures came up like you described it and I'm reading the words I'm like but did she really say anything she said everything she said I know she said congratulations on the birth of your first grandbaby and it's a girl and you've been carrying her through your womb for like three generations at least and like you had Sierra Mia and you did an awesome job like look at your accomplishment look at that beautiful queen y'all you did that I tell you all the time like Sierra Mia is special and she your first girl and you got it so right you got it so right like you made sure that she was like able to be Sierra Mia you created a safe environment for her no matter who you had to go against no matter what it meant no matter what it cost you like because you fell in love with her when when you had her like she was your whole reason for everything for existing that's why you ain't want no more kids because you was like I can't love nobody else like this like she one of a kind she's special she is special saying just for me to help me figure out how to how to get us out of this because I was looking at this and I was like this don't feel right like this don't feel right at all I don't know what do but this don't because I don't even know what it's supposed to be different like but I don't like how none of this feel I don't want to get married I don't want to get beat up I don't want to get like all the stuff that I knew as a kid, I didn't want to fucking do. I end up doing, and the same thing happened. Like, that hurt my feelings. Like, why did I let anybody tell me what I was supposed to do or, was, or wasn't or was supposed to do when I knew myself as a kid that I didn't want to do none of that shit? I knew I did not want to do none of that. I knew that I did not want to work, didn't want to work hard, uh, I didn't want a bunch of loud ass kids that I got to have all the time, I didn't want, I did not want my father, I did not want my father and I did not want my mother and I did not want their life at all, nothing attached to it, I ain't want no husband, I ain't want no kids with a husband, like I ain't want no house, I ain't want no dog, I ain't want none of that shit. Because they had all of it and none of it helped. They was just miserable. They were so miserable. And it made us miserable. Like, I was like, how could she stay? Like, and then even trying to process, like, you sat there and stayed through this for me. Like, but then when I see Nikki's life, I'm like, I get it. I get it. I get it. But then it's like, mm, do I? Because Nikki hit off every fucking... She hit off everything on every last one of their lists. And they still try to dismiss it because she ain't got no kids. And she like, I did that shit on purpose. And they still don't get it. And Nikki don't look at none of it. It just is what it is. Like, they mad at her for, for telling the truth and... 
showing us options and even if they said it was okay at first like she got too good at it and they was like jealous of her that we would go talk to her that we would share special moments with her and they thought it was special and then they was jealous of it just because that's who they are but then sometimes it just got too much because like we sensitive to nikki we sensitive to nikki's energy even if she not here like we love her we love her we love Nikki too, just like y'all love her. But clearly, like, we love her more. We love her better. Because we see her. And y'all do not see her outside of what she can do for y'all. Y'all find out her fucking love language or words of affirmation, which everybody should have knew. It shouldn't have been even a big damn discussion. Like, why was it a big discussion on trying to figure out how Nikki loved? If y'all wasn't going to adequately try to love Nikki the way that she needed to be loved. Like, words are special to her, whether she can feel it or not. I can feel it, and everybody else should be able to feel it. How gentle she is with her words. How she think before she say something. And even if sometimes she don't know, and she might be going against her, her feelings, she fight it enough because she think it's something that needs to be said, and she'll say it whether we know it's gonna make us uncomfortable now then we gotta sit with that because like we've been learning nikki unlike them we've been learning nikki just from us being us like we ain't have to try to figure nikki out nikki would talk to us 